The Deplorable Patriot is brought to you by God, Country, and Guns. Keeping free men free for over 250 years. Freedom. Ask for it by name. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, the Deplorable Patriot, and Joe Biden has made it crystal clear that he's all in favor of the radical transgender movement. And that includes everything from uh, boys using girls' bathrooms to a uh, sex change transition for children. I'll be right back after this to fill you in on the latest insanity from the left. But first, before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Also, visit my Facebook page at The Deplorable Patriot. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Now, if you're like most normal people, you probably think that at this point, the demands of the LGBT militant psychopaths couldn't possibly get any more extreme, right? <laughs> Wrong! It seems that a popular transgender activist recently called for all children to be put on puberty blockers until they are able to decide which gender they want to be. Okay, and this trans activist is Zachary Antelak. And Zachary started out as a gay man. But from there, he ventured further into the realms of psychosexuality, and now he identifies as a lesbian woman named Zanina Jones. Now, Zanina refers to himself as the <clears throat> queen of atheism. Yeah, he also claims to be in a relationship with a lesbian named Heather and a trans woman by the name of Penny. Uh, for those of you keeping score, that's another guy. Now, culturally speaking, guys like Zanina are driving the bus these days. So, let's find out what he has to say, shall we? If children can't consent to puberty blockers which pause any permanent changes even with the relevant professional evaluation, how can they consent to the permanent and irreversible changes that come with their own puberty with no professional evaluation whatsoever? Okay, in other words, according to Zanina's logic, uh, which is kind of twisted, if you're opposed to uh, giving children puberty blockers, you should also be opposed to Mother Nature giving children puberty an inability to offer informed consent or understand the long-term consequences is actually an argument for putting every single cis and trans person on puberty blockers until they acquire that ability now i'm not even going to attempt to address the albeit well written absolutely insane pretzel logic coming from Zanina here, but uh, it, it, it just seems rather impossible to imagine, doesn't it, that the federal government would someday mandate that all children must be put on puberty blockers until their teachers or some other, I don't know, social engineer or something uh, has had time to convince them that they want to be the opposite sex. But then again, a few years ago, no one would have ever believed that the federal government would actually force schools to allow boys who say they're girls to use the bathrooms of real little girls. But now that is the mainstream Democrat Party policy. Folks, Satan only knows what kind of sick, disgusting nightmares uh, hatched in the depraved minds of lunatics like Zanina uh, might soon be mandated, actually mandated, by a federal government under the almighty rule of the Democrat Party. And those of us who aren't on board with this insanity will be silenced with hate speech laws, and their children will be confiscated by the federal government, and God knows what happens next. Speaking of God, God save America, and death to the new world order. I'm Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot, and I'll see ya. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America and death to the New World Order.